Time now to take, tell you what else is making news around the world. This is Gravitas Global Headlines. Nearly half of Kiev's residents still without electricity as engineers battled to restore services two days after Russian strikes hammered the country's energy grid. U.S. writer who accused Donald Trump of raping her in the mid-1990s files an upgraded lawsuit under new law that protects survivors of sexual assault decades after attacks may have occurred. A Hong Kong court imposes a fine on 90-year-old Cardinal Zen and five others after convicting them for failing to register a now-defunct fund, which was aimed at helping people arrested in protests three years ago. Honduras declares emergency amid rising cases of extortion by violent criminal groups. New measures would include suspension of some constitutional rights and deployment of 20,000 police agents. U.S. top automaker Ford is recalling more than 600,000 sport utility vehicles worldwide over fire risks from possible cracked fuel injectors. France's lower house of parliament adopts a bill to make abortion a constitutional right, the first step in a legislative battle prompted by rollback of abortion rights in the US. South Sudan's government withdraws from peace negotiations with rebel groups, accusing them of using the talks to buy time as they prepare for war. Over 600 young people in Sweden, including climate activist Greta Thunberg, files a lawsuit against the Swedish state, accusing it of climate inaction, a first in the country. Iran scored two goals in stoppage time to claim a stunning 2-0 victory over 10 men Wales at the FIFA World Cup. The Asian powerhouses scored twice after Wales were reduced to 10 men to keep their hopes alive of reaching the last 16. Brazil forward Neymar is set to miss the remaining group stage matches with a ligament damage in the ankle. The 30-year-old is however expected to return for the knockout stage. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.